Now finally, Shindo Life recently drops out a new update that we've been waiting for. It comes with two new things. Basically, the very first one is we have the newest bloodline which is called Shindai Akuma. And the second one is we have the newest element as well which is called Cement. But today's video is we are going to be focusing in the Shindai Akuma. Basically, the newest and probably we're going to be witnessing the power of this uh, bloodline. Because like, I heard that this is basically the god of all Akuma. But real quick, before we get into the video, I just want to say if you're new in this channel or you're just passing by, it turns out you like this type of content, I really appreciate it if you could at least hit that subscribe right there and also do not forget to turn on that notification bell on as well so that you will miss any single videos that I'm gonna be making daily. And oh yeah, before I forget to mention, I recently funded my alt account. Basically, I will start giving away random game passes to everyone who supported in this channel. There is a hidden code somewhere in this video, so once you find it, make sure to comment down the correct hidden code and as well as your discord username and of course one of the important thing in order for me to find your username is you must need to join in my discord server which is the builders community server now, if you're wondering how do you join my discord you can basically go to the comment section and press this discord link right here and yeah the winner will be picked randomly it's perfect timing congratulations to this person right here who won the random giveaway yesterday and of course there's gonna be another winner today so yeah good luck So first things first is we have a new code. The new code is called Shindai Too Nice. Now just go ahead and spin that spins in those new bloodline and basically that new element. Hopefully you get it. Alright, so back to the main topic right here. So we have the newest Akuma right here, which is basically called Shindai Akuma. Now as you guys can see, I still haven't maxed it out yet because I did some actually IRL stuff uh, lately. So I was uh, a little bit busy. So, uh, you know, um, I won't be able to figure it out, uh, you know, uh, the damage for this one. But we'll try to PvP even though we're not max level but in order to figure out this max level i think it's gonna be around like 1k by the ways uh let's just go ahead and equip this real quick right here and then let's see how much uh the level that requires for the last stage but oh okay forgot to turn on the music background real quick okay there we go and let's see the final stage right here wait what must obtain shinde spirit form wait how 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 i how did i how did i unlock this even though i'm not even max yet uh and I, I didn't even try to get the scroll oh it looks like this it looks like this bloodline actually comes with a free true summer spirit form i mean that makes sense because like i mean literally uh the true summer spirit form is basically the same as the, the riser akuma basically they're still using the ryan akuma model itself right here uh which is actually kind of sad but though uh they're still uh, using the weapon but anyway let's skip to that at least we can use this thing now even though without actually getting it Anyway, let's get back into the skills. So basically, we have these three new skills right here. So we have the Samurai Sekiro right here. And we have the next one, which is the Sunlight Devastation. And then the third one is basically we have the Sunflower Desolation. Alright, so I can't wait to test them out. Because like, literally, this is basically might be the strongest. I mean, I, I literally saw the showcase, but I, I didn't actually spoil myself that much. Because like, I saw the showcase of our uh, real games. It is basically so OP, dude. It might be the strongest Akuma that I've ever seen right now. And not gonna lie, it is. It actually stands out for the name. Basically, the god of Akuma. And we have the very first move right here, which is basically it shoots out a suicidal form of yourself. Like, basically, th this is basically my favorite one. Look at that. Bap, bap, bap. And I don't know why it's tracking right there. But literally, you literally spawn like three clones of yourself along with your susano which is actually pretty cool and yeah the second move set we got is basically the sunlight devastation right here now this one is actually pretty pretty cool as well this meteor will literally fall up to you i mean some they actually said that this is a sun instead of meteor and that is actually pretty pretty big i mean it does actually looks like a sun i mean it might actually be a sun to be honest i mean that's what they mentioned but uh you see um my second favorite among these three is basically this third move set, which is basically called the sunflower Desolation. Now, this sunflower desolation is basically a genjutsu itself. It will stun you around one to two seconds, I guess, and literally a meteor will fall up to you. Now, a multiple meteor will actually fall to the enemy, though you cannot actually see uh, y y yourself. Like, look at that. It's it just works like this. And make sure uh, that thing is pointing at your enemy, otherwise, it won't work. 
Now, as you guys can see, we can't literally see any meteors falling around here. But, let me actually get into the clip of Real Games real quick. Now, watch closely right here. Now, after he actually used that skill set, now there we go. Uh, you will actually force yourself to sleep. Now, this is what happens to you. Now, what's the next one that's gonna happen is basically this meteor will fall onto you. Now, basically, this is basically the second moveset that actually looks like a lot. Like, it literally multiplies, but only you can see it. It's not real. And that's what they said. And there you go. Boom. And basically that other moveset, I think that's the that's the second skill he used. And you see, you can actually do a very, very combo with that one. Now, basically, once you use this end move right here, you get to a stun mode. And what happens for that? After that, you're going to use the V move. And as long as the real mid here that we got, which is the B move, and boom, there you go. That's an actual OP combo. Like, look at that. We're not even using our, um, you know, our C-Spec yet. Now, imagine if we actually use our C-Spec as well. And we have the left-click damage right here. It deals 13k and it's 16k ending hit. Now, that's a lot, dude. I'm not even max yet. Now, this bloodline is not even max yet. But anyways, let's use the C-Spec for this. Let's go. Okay, it, they're basically the same, man. They're, they're basically the same. Now, I think the only one with difference right here is basically the C plus 4, which is the true uh, Samurai Spirit of Shindai Spirit. But which is actually funny because I didn't even try to unlock it yet and I literally got it for free. And I don't know what happened right here. But anyways, uh, let's use the C-Spec right here. This is what happened. There we go. That is actually pretty cool. It, it literally multiplied your true Samurai Spirit. And, you know, it, it's basically the same as the V moveset if you actually forgot. I mean, we have the first move right here, which is this. And you can also use it like, there you go. See, it works the same thing. Now, let's stop talking and let's get into PvP real quick. Alright, so call the fan right here. Now, um, I, I just want to use this form right here. But I might actually use the uh, full true summer spirit later on. But let's see how we're actually going to do this. Now, just use the third move. Now, as long as they're facing, they get stunned. Okay, there you go. Use the B move and then use this. There we go. And use the C-Spec. There we go. Uh-huh. That's a lot. Yo, this is actually crazy. Look at this. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna pull him up. There we go. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Bap 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 bap. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. 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 That's actually pretty fast, dude. <laughs> Everything happened so fast, and he actually did the same thing right here. Oh my god, dude. Okay, use this again right here. And it's gonna get stunned. And there we go. Use the B move and use this V move right here. There we go. And then we're gonna use the C spec again. Okay, this is actually going crazy. Okay, 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 okay. And we're gonna pull him out right here and then do the M1 combos. Pop, 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 pop. And then use this. Oh, oh this is so crazy, dude. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, use this V move. Oh no, we're, 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 we're out of Chi. We're out of Chi, dude. Okay, okay. Use this stun. It's this stun right here. Pop, 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 pop. Oh my god! <laughs> it literally come back right there, dude. And he said he got like 10k HP. <laughs> That's the fastest drain I've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie, he also drained me a lot. Alright, so now let's do the rematch real quick. I didn't actually expect that, but it literally turned the tables around. But anyways, let's use this true summer spirit right here. Use this end move and stun him. There we go, and use this B move, and then use this V move, using the true summary spirit, there we go. And then use the C spec right there, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there we go, and use this, we're gonna pull him out. And pop, 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 there we go, and you know, mm -hmm, throw that around. Okay, we need to actually need our Chi right there, because like we lost some Chi right there. Literally one of the reasons why he actually caught up to me, but yo, that drain is actually crazy, not gonna lie dude. Okay. That's actually, that's actually crazy, not gonna lie. Okay, use that. Stun him. Use this B move. Use the V move right there. And we're gonna pull him out right here so he can't move. And use the C-Spec. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, damn, this is so broken, dude. Okay, let's, let's, uh, you know, region our chair real quick. Okay. Uh, now, what we gotta do is basically use this end move again. Right here. Okay, there we go. Do the same thing. Oh no, he's too far. He's too far. Okay, okay. Bam. Okay, you can't dodge those, huh? You can't dodge those, huh? Use this V move right here. Okay, it's already down. There we go. I, you ain't gonna get that, bro. This is crazy. OMG. 
<laughs> That's what happened, dude. As long as you don't get ran out of, uh, you know, chi, it's broken. Yo, what is this? I don't like that bloodline because it's so OP. <laughs> like I said, it's the strongest Akuma I've ever seen. And you know, uh, I only lost at that moment because he's also pretty good in his skill set. Not gonna lie, he's pretty good as well. He literally drained me like 200k of my HP. And you know, that's crazy. And you know, uh, what's funny right here is, <laughs> you know, um, th this, this bloodline is so, so broken, dude. And I I ain't I ain't gonna I ain't gonna give out any more comments, but you can already see that power right there. Shindai Akuma is absolute broken. But anyways, that was actually a very very good fight with this guy. He's actually pretty pretty good. Not gonna lie. And you know um you can already see how good it is right there. As long as you can do that infinite combo, like basically the cooldown itself is so fast enough. You can actually do it again after you do the full set of combo right there. Which is actually pretty broken. But anyways, if you actually enjoy at this video, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell on for more awesome videos like this. So yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Peace out.